Welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Agnieszka Misiarz. Uh, I have been working for uh, 15 years in the nuclear equipment department of the National Center for Nuclear Research in Świerk in Poland. Uh, today I'm pleased to present to you uh, the result of the work uh, of the team of designers, scientists and doctors from NCBJ and uh, WCO uh, in this presentation about new mobile uh, accelerator for intraoperative radiotherapy with electrons named um, ACURE. Uh, first of all, I um, will briefly introduce you uh, to the National Center for Nuclear Research, NCBJ, and the Greater Poland Oncology Center, WCO. Uh, and then I will uh, talk about our common, common child, which is the um, ACURE intraoperative accelerator. And then I will uh, provide information uh, about the ultra high dose um, radiation technique and uh, present some information about the stand we currently produce uh, for testing the uh, flash phenomena. Uh, so, first of all, uh, the uh, National Center for Nuclear Research. Uh, is the um, largest uh, le research institute in Poland. Uh, we are near Warsaw and uh, we are also the only Polish um, research institute operating a nuclear reactor and this reactor named Mar Mary and um, I work in uh, the department of nuclear equipment, um, high tech uh, it's a facility of the National Center for Nuclear Research and we dealing with the construction, production, sales and maintenance service uh, of equipment applied in the industry and uh, medical sectors. Um, and that's mainly linear electron accelerator. And the uh, second one, the um, Greater um, uh, Greater Poland Cancer Center, WCO, uh, is a um, highly specialist medical center, provides a full combined um, cancer therapy, surgery, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy. At this moment, they, um, <clears throat> they operate uh, on for uh, two beams, uh, two cyber knives and one tomotherapy machine. And WCO also has two satellites in Poland, in Piwa and in Kalish. Uh, on um, both uh, have by two two beams. Um, National Center for Nuclear Research as a manufacturer of um, radiotherapy devices and protective elements um, cooperate with oncology centers in Poland. However, how you see on this page, um, we have been cooperate with WCO uh, in recent years uh, as a leading um, oncology center using the intraoperative therapy. And thanks to this cooperation, it was possible to create an intraoperative accelerator taking um, into account uh, the many years of experience uh, of physicists, uh, surgeons and radiotherapists. Um, the ACURE accelerator is a device for intraoperative therapy. And this type of therapy um, is a treatment method uh, combines uh, oncological surgery with high energy and uh, intensive uh, electron beam radiotherapy delivered directly into the open surgical field. 
And the accelerator is um, manufactured to a um, medical standard. And we are currently at the stage uh, of preparing the device for European uh, certification for C marking. The main beam parameters uh, which you see in this table um, are um, consist uh, with uh, EEC normative uh, recommendation. Um, IOT uh, is used in, in cancer treatment, um, mainly in breast cancer, but not only. Uh, the head and neck cancer, uh, colorectal cancer, stomach and um, soft tissue sarcomas, pediatric cancer and um, some uh, gynecological uh, cancers uh, are treated uh, too in uh, with this uh, this um, kind of therapy uh, but uh, intraoperative uh, radiotherapy is used in the treatment of early breast cancer as a boost so it increasing the radiation dose in the bed after the uh, removed tumor and uh, it's so called uh, accelerated partial breast irradiation and in this case a single dose of 10 gray uh, is applied to the bed area uh, with an additional tissue margin about one or two centimeters uh, in the analysis um, conduced by the International Society of um, Intraoperative Radiotherapy, ISIORT, um, results were uh, obtained that uh, uh, confirmed the clinical effectiveness of this uh, procedure, along with the, its safety of use and very good cosmetic effect. And or, or accelerator. Uh, is a um, radiotherapeutic device that produces ionization radiation. It's uh, electron radiation uh, with energies range from 4 to <clears throat> 12 mega electron. For the standard intraoperative radiotherapy applications, uh, the maximum dose rate uh, is uh, 1000 mU per minute. It's mean uh, that uh, 10 grays per minute. And the device is uh, operating and control is carried out by a computer control system consisting uh, of uh, executive system, programmable system, uh, PLC controllers, and a PC a processor that um, implements um, communication between the control system and uh, the operator. Um, the electrons uh, are accelerated in the structure uh, and then formed uh, by a forming, um, uh, forming system um, consisting of um, uh, consisting of a collimator and um, and the um, electron applicators and the applicators are uh, divided into two parts and the lower part uh, which is in, in direct contact with the um, post-operative um, bed is made um, of biocompatible material uh, to make it easier to place the lower part uh, of the applicator in the right position. Uh, the applicator is made of uh, a light and um, transparent material. And thanks to the um, use of 3D printing uh, in this element, within the um, maximum area 10 centimeter, we are able to produce uh, this part in a really flexible way.
and the intraoperative accelerator is mobile device. The accelerator is uh, built on the movable base that allows the head uh, to be moved and the therapeutic head uh, can be tilted into planes and can be rotated on this uh, column. Um, so uh, from the mechanical point of view, uh, the intraoperative accelerator is uh, both uh, an electron accelerator and a mobile uh, manipulator that allows uh, the um, head to be set in a specific position within a relative large working area you uh, can see on this uh, picture. Uh, the movements uh, are controlled using a control cassette, uh, which enables uh, precise um, docking of the accelerator, uh, which means uh, it travels to the place of use and uh, cont um, contact to uh, the uh, lower part of applicator. And the device is uh, relatively alive and uh, allows uh, to uh, movements uh, to be performed uh, thanks to the battery power, which make it easy to <clears throat> transport between and in operating rooms. Thanks to this project, uh, we um, start to interest uh, in uh, uh, ultra high dose um, radiation technique. Uh, the first um, reports about the possible different effect for the same dose uh, of radiation delivered at different time, thanks to the use of ultra high dose rates, applied already in 1960s or and, uh, 1970s, uh, but they were not extent and the uh, effect was noticed again. Uh, and called the flash effect um, for the first time only in 2014. Uh, however, since 2018, um, there have been a significant uh, increase uh, in interest uh, in the effect and um, researches on the impact of ultra high dose on cancer and healthy cells. Uh, and there is a few uh, important things about uh, flash. So flash uh, um, radiotherapy radiation method uh, involves uh, delivering a high and ultra high dose uh, of radiation in a very short time uh, from milliseconds to one second or several seconds. And uh, the flash effect is an improvement uh, in the tolerance of healthy tissue to the delivered dose. And for a given dose uh, delivered to the patient, flash exposure time is over 1000 times shorter there, uh, than conventional treatment method. You see it on this uh, graph, uh, which show you the uh, conventional and ultra high dose rate in the same uh, time. Uh, the effect itself uh, has not been fully explored yet, but pre preliminary um, researches uh, are promising. And this effect is uh, currently being investigated for proton and electron beams. Research is also limited by the availability uh, of um, dedicated technical um, solution for generating this type of uh, radiation beam. Uh, therefore, uh, NCBJ in cooperate with and WCO decided to make um, such a device. And the uh, um, heart of um, 
this device is a new dedicated source of electron um, and that means new uh, electron structure um, with the ability to modify uh, the beam parameters in a wide range uh, enable um, the generation of high and ultra high dose doses Currently, uh, this structure has been designed and um, launched. Um, and by placing the new structure on the complete uh, Acure mobile device, the entire uh, research station is fully mobile and enables uh, comprehensive research, uh, allowing a wide uh, um, range of changes in the parameters of the applied electron beams and the device will enable uniform delivery of a dose above uh, 2 gray in 1 5 millisecond intervals in an area with a diameter of 10 centimeters and in an area up to 3 or 4 uh, centimeters even 15 uh, gray in one <clears throat> in one pulse. Uh, it is important that the parameters of the device uh, can be changed. Uh, both the amount and time of uh, delivery uh, can be set. Uh, thanks to this, uh, it will be possible to repeat tests and. Um, um, and make it uh, on any material uh, wish. Uh, the main uh, main parameters of the stand uh, uh, are in this table, and we can um, adjust uh, such parameters uh, as the pulse width, number of pulses per second, or uh, pulse height, uh, um, which mean uh, the dose amount in one pulse. Uh, and that's all I want to present to you today. Uh, more information about uh, our work uh, can be found um, on the NCBJ and WCO website. I would like, of course, uh, to thank the organizers uh, for the opportunity to perform this um, presentation and uh, thank you for your attention.